Hey Alex, this is Holden Dress. We spoke on the phone earlier and I said I was going to shoot you over this quick video. In the video, I basically want to go over you know, a th few things that you can do yourself to increase the amount of traffic you have coming to your website and your online presence. And I'm going to show you how much traffic you are actually getting to your website monthly versus that of your top competitors in the area. And like I said, a few ways to beat them out. And you know, the reason I send this video is because a lot of people don't really know who the experts are and who they're not. And that's why I like to do this because it provides some value to you guys that you can implement yourself. Um, and it has just resulted in a lot of business owners coming back to me and asking me for help. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I've got your website pulled up right here. Uh, the first thing I do notice, I like how you have your uh, the ability for people to reach out and contact you immediately. You know, this is super important, having an outlet for people to be able to contact you. Now, the next thing that Google really looks at for optimization is content. Uh, they like to see about 1,500 words of content. Uh, you have a lot of content on here, so you're doing well in that aspect alone. Um, but when it comes to what's in the content, uh, you need to make sure that you're including what we call keywords. Keywords are basically anything that someone's searching for in the search bar to find you. And you wanna pick buyer intent keywords. Uh, those are keywords that people are looking to reach out to a contractor right away as opposed to a non-buyer intent keyword which would be if someone's still doing their research they're looking for the costs of tree removal or something like that right you need you want to make sure you're picking ones that that people need your service right now like emergency tree removal chicago would be a perfect one because you know people are having an emergency they need a contractor right now um, and so adding those into your content helps Google match what people are searching for with your website. Down here, this is called the Google Map Pack. This is basically where 70% of traffic will go to for any given search result up here. Uh, because it's right here at the top, it's super relevant. It's right in their face and people can see how far you are from their house or business um, and they can reach out to you right away. Now, this is there's only three spots, right? So you wanna make sure you're in the top. To get into this area, you need to get uh, your name, address, and phone number into as many directories as possible. And those are things like Facebook, uh, Yellow Pages, Yelp, anywhere your name, address, and phone number can go is considered a directory. And you wanna make sure you keep everything consistent across all of them. If there's any inconsistencies as far as you know your name, address, phone number, or your business hours, anything like that, that's considered good, confusing to Google and to the customer and they'll actually deduct you authority points and you won't show up in this map pack. So make sure that you are, when you're building these directories, that you're actually keeping everything consistent. Down here is the organics area. Uh, this is where everyone else after up here, you know, the, the remaining 30% go. Not many people go to the second page of Google. I don't know if you're on the first page, let's see. I don't see you here. So to get on the first page, you wanna basically go out and get what we call backlinks. Backlinks are links from other websites linking in the direction of your website. The more of these links you have, uh, the better, but not all backlinks are created equal. You know, there's some links that have more authority than others. You can see there's a score here and it's uh, out of 100. So this one's pretty powerful. This one is a little less, this one's a little more. Um, and they have to be topically relevant as well. You wanna make sure that these links are from websites that have to do with your industry and they're not just some spammy link in another country or something like that. And you can find these links on indirect by putting your business in directories or commenting on blogs and things like that and leaving a link in the comments section. Uh, over here is a tool called SEMrush. It's one of the more powerful tools I use in my industry to look at how much traffic is going to someone's website and why. And I've got your website over here comparative, compared to this top competitor, which is Jose's Tree Service. They're the first one that comes in the search results when you type in tree service in Chicago. And they get about 265 people to their homepage organically a month versus your website. You're only getting about four people to your website. Um, they have 109 keywords that people are searching for versus uh, your 14 keywords. And they have 52 backlinks to your 24. And these are pretty low numbers as they are. I think that'd be pretty easy to beat out and then you can start collecting some of this traffic away from them if you were just doing those those three things right adding some more content um, I think you're doing pretty well on content but you want to make sure you have more than your competitor uh, adding those buyer intent keywords and adding those backlinks that are relative to your industry 
And then also if you want to get up into the Google Map Pack, you want to make sure that you're getting your name, address, and phone number into all those directories and keeping everything consistent across all of them. So I hope this was helpful. And like I said, if you would like to chat some more, please reach out. My phone number and email is in the this email, so you can respond either way. Um, if you're not opposed to sending me some feedback, whether you're interested or not, I'd love to hear what you thought about the video, what you liked, what you didn't. Um, but I appreciate you taking the time to watch, and I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.